the next film I watched today was, uh, what is this director's name? Susanna Nicciarelli's Nico 1988. This is Susanna Nicciarelli's second film. I haven't seen her first film, but it sounds friggin' amazing. It's called Cosmonaut, um, and it's about a girl growing up in the midst of the Cold War and, um, space race, and it just sounds friggin' amazing. I don't have to go see if I can find it somewhere. But Nico 1988... Um, again, premiered at the Venice Film Festival literally all, a year ago, August 31st, 2017. It's finally here in the States. And it stars Trin Dyerholm as Nico. And her and Susanna Nicarelli sort of crafted the, they did research on Nico and crafted the presentation of Nico that they wanted to project in this film together. So it was very collaborative creation of this version of Nico and they're very clear that this is not a documentary and that this is their perception of Nico at this time which I think is great because I feel like a lot of times we'll get biopics and people are like no this is the person and it's like no you know for example Nico had bits of racism that many people claimed to have witnessed and in this film, they very, go very far to try to make her not seem racist, and it was a little, like, a little suspicious. But what I did really like about this film is that, one, they focused it in the last few years of her life specifically because they wanted to talk about her at, unrelated to anything else. So there are all these moments that try to subjectify, um, try to objectify, sorry, try to objectify Nico and her story um, several men call her a piece of history and things like that. And every time in an interview or whatever, someone is trying to get Nico to mostly talk about Lee Reed and the Velvet Underground and um, Andy Warhol, she's like, no. If you want to talk to me, we're going to talk about me and my life and my work and my art, all of which came into its own after I was no longer with them. Um, like they're, that bit of her life is in her mind in this film the least important part of her life. Uh, for her, the parts that are important are her music that she makes and her her son. Um, and if you don't know, they sort of skirt around it probably because they couldn't legally say, but um, Nico's son was uh, the result of an affair with Alain Delon while he was still with Romy Schneider, and he refused to claim paternity, and as far as I know, never really did, although his parents raised the son. So, uh, you know, like, Alan Delon's not a good person. If you look him up, it's like, oh, my God, he's so pretty. Like, he, you cannot be that pretty and be a good person is what, is what I've learned. Um, so the film mostly focuses on her regrets for her inability to give her son a better life um, and her feeling of blame for the life her son is living because of her inability to raise him. Her son is... Uh, a photographer who t is at this point very suicidal. So you get her dealing with that, her dealing with her addiction to heroin um, and trying to kick it, and her sort of like almost nonchalance for this art that she's created. She loves it. She wants to own it, but she also, it's not the most important thing in her life. And I think mostly because it's so misunderstood by so many people and her whole life is misunderstood by so many people. She also, you know, Nico is her stage name and she keeps trying to get people to call her Krista, which is her real name. Um, so I thought the film did a great job of, of discussing this idea that women are more than muses, that women are the architects of their own legacy, that women can be thought of in relation to themselves and not just in relation to the men around them, especially women who are quote unquote famous for the men who made them even though she's very clearly saying like no it also takes place in an interesting time in Europe where um you had the, the um, iron curtain still up and many countries where rock and roll was out outlawed there's this great uh, Tom Stoppard play called rock and roll that's sort of about this um definitely check that out if you ever get a chance um and how the Rolling Stones came to came to Berlin I think it is but in this, it's just, she goes to Czechoslovakia, she goes to various places, and it's a, a just super hard to have her perform in these places because 
Rock and Roll is outlawed, but this is where her fans are. Um, she talks about not giving a shit about being a commercial success because she doesn't need everyone to be her fans. She's Those who are her fans get her music, and those who don't get her music don't need to be her fans. Um, I found that very refreshing. Beautifully shot by Crystal Fournier. Um, so we got another female cinematographer. And Trine Dreholm does all her own singing. And so it's not quite Nico, but it's so close. Um, it's really amazing the way she just embodies her from everything, including the singing. Uh, there's something about, oh, yeah. So she's in a movie I watched earlier this year called Love is All You Need. Um, or All You Need is Love. I always forget. Um, starring, directed by Suzanne Bier, and I highly recommend looking for that one. She is a great actress and really commands every scene that she's in. Um, so I just, I thought this was a really good film. I think that it does a great job of, of showing a difficult person and never once, I mean, they didn't, as I said, like, they didn't lean in 100% to do some things that are well known about her, but they definitely showed her as a bitch. They definitely showed her as, as a very selfish person. They definitely showed her, showed her as somebody who, um, has a capacity to care a whole lot about a, a few people and things and not a lot about a lot of people and things. Um, and they didn't excuse it, but they didn't praise it either. They just presented it as, uh, and I thought that was just a very brave way to present somebody. So um, this is Nico, 1988. It's in theaters right now. Um, definitely recommend it for fans of her work and for people who are interested in seeing complicated women presented as uh, unto themselves. So definitely check this out, Nico, 1988.